So my next video is going to be about, uh, and this is a revisited subject, it's about abortion. So um, one of my first videos on YouTube was actually about abortion and how people, and back then I was agnostic, so my views shifted a little because um, even though I am still pro-life, uh, now I have all the soul aspect and the religious aspect of it, of it to add to. But the main reason is um, a human reason. And uh, also because men don't have any rights in regards to choice. It's like all, the women detain all the power over their progeny and it's not fair. For instance, if, uh, if a woman sperm jacks the man and forces him to have a son, he is forced to pay child support for a child he didn't want. However, if the mother doesn't want to be a mother, Regardless of the father's decision, she can abort the child. Can you see the double standard in here? Like everything regards to child rearing, child support, everything screws the man up. Everything screws the family. We live in a society where family is attacked by all fronts. And it's such nonsense. And, oh, I mean... Can you imagine, can you just imagine how, how the world would be a better place if men and women got together for the same purpose of raising a child healthily instead of fighting each other over nonsense? And I think that if one of the members of the couple wants to save the child's life, I think they should be able to kind of, it's like they should be able to be, it's like if the father wants the child to live, the father should get the custody and pay for the child's education. And if the mother wants to carry on the pregnancy without the father, she should be responsible for it. It's not fair that whatever the decision, whomever wants the baby, doesn't want the baby, the person who always gets screwed is the father or the child or both. So this is utter, utter nonsense. And uh, okay, I'll be right back. So it's, it's uh, outrageous and if you love someone, you don't kill your child. It's like, how can you claim to love someone and then murder their child? Doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense that you claim to love someone and then you murder their unborn child. It's, it's so cruel and... It's like, imagine uh, a man, and this is the case I gave in my other, my first video about the subject when I was whew, 20 or 21. I'm 31 now. My views haven't changed much uh, since, and, uh, oh, but, um, yeah, so, what happens is, imagine that a man gets into a car accident and his girlfriend is pregnant. Um, and it's um, his child and she decides she doesn't want to keep the child. Or if the man gets into cancer and does chemo 
or something that damages his uh, capacity to bear more children. Now this woman uh, decides all of a sudden that she doesn't want to keep the child and she uh, wants to abort. According to the law, she can do it. And that man, who can no longer produce any of his own biological children, has to see her murder his child, powerless to save his child. And there is no justice. There is no equality. It's like all the decision is the woman's. And it's not fair. Um, if she were to keep the child against his will, he'd be forced to pay child support. And she'd still... It's like, there's no justice for men. There's no justice for the child. All this is nonsense. This is nonsense. This goes against the rights of women. This goes against the rights of men. And this goes against the, the basic units of family. And it's... It's destroying everything we know, and it's an aberration. It's a literal, literal aberration, and I don't know. It's just, it's frustrating to see. It's like, can you imagine what it is to have the possibility of having a child snatched up from you? Of dreaming about a child so much and then when you finally have that child your wife or your girlfriend decides to kill it and you're powerless and while the woman who is the murderer and decides to kill the child gets uh, psychiatric help gets uh, all the support she needs the man is mocked and is put aside because apparently men don't have feelings and have no right to decide on whether to save their child or not. Can you see how unfair this is? And, uh, and let's not go into the soul department because if you're religious and you believe and you're pro choice, I'm sorry, what kind of human are you allowing to you you know a child to die? You're it's you're basically going against God. You're going against God. You're going against life. You're going against everything. It's murder. It's it's literal murder. And then, if you're an atheist, how can you kill a child that, according to your beliefs, has only one chance to be on this earth? He could be a great scientist. He could find a cure for cancer, for all you know. How can you deny someone the right to live? This is not right. It's not right. Men should have more rights in regards to sh to their parenting. They shouldn't be forced to pay for child support when their girlfriends get pregnant against their will or their wives or their ex-wives or whatever. If they don't have the right to keep a child when the woman wants to abort the child. That's it. Either you make the laws equal, and both men and women have the right to say whether the child should be aborted or not, or uh, child support or stuff like that, or you don't, it's, it's like this system is unfair for the baby and for the father and for real families. And um, so yeah, I, I've, I think uh, I said everything for today. I'm just upset because uh, I've been getting a lot of notifications from um, pro-choice people on uh, Facebook and it's driving me crazy how in 2018 there are still people who believe it's okay to murder defenseless human beings but go all pro-vegan and whatever nonsense but don't defend human beings. That's upsetting. So that's it for today. And I'm sorry. I'm just angry at how devaluing uh, our society, how our society devalues the human life. And this is so upsetting to me. And I don't know. 
Anyway, that's it. And see you next video.